What's up and welcome back. We are your Colorado real estate family and today we're gonna to be covering Broomfield, Colorado, which actually is the city that neighbors where we call home, but we are not gonna sit behind the studio screen today. We are actually gonna take it to the streets and have Taylor show you around. Guys, I am driving around Broomfield right now. I've got some new buyers that are moving into the area. So I thought I would bring you along with me today, show you a little bit about the real estate that we have in this beautiful city and tell you a little bit more about it. So let's go. Broomfield is such a big city and I'll let Pete and Chelsea fill you guys in about the schools here, but I know a lot of people love living near Broomfield because they have children at Holy Family High School, which is a very well accredited high school. Um, people move all over the country to put their children at this school. When you're looking at Broomfield neighborhoods, you guys, something that I love is that you have so many different varieties of houses. You could find something that's cookie cutter, brand new, if you're looking for a patio home, a town home. Um, we also have new construction by Meritage and David Weekly that have like the four-story homes that have the big patio rooftop patios which I know that's becoming very popular especially with young adults and young families and you're also right down the street from houses that have lots of acreage so if you have horses and you want one or two acres you can also find that and some of these homes are newer and you can also find homes that were built back in the 1970s so your variety of homes is huge here not to mention how many parks um, different rec centers that you have You've got the Paula Deirdre Rec Center, which also is across the street from soccer fields and track fields. And it's a huge area. Um, pickleball is becoming very popular. So we've got pickleball courts all over the place. And I'm gonna take a few videos over here in Anthem for you today because I want you to see how much outdoor living you truly have in this community because this is, to me, this is the epitome of Colorado living. Let's go ahead and dive into those schools, but before we do so, I wanna give you a brief explanation. So Broomfield County is the newest county within Colorado. When they did become a county, they still had all these different school districts that were like going in and around the city. So technically there's like five school counties, I believe, that are within Broomfield, but we're mainly gonna cover the top two. All right, the first one is going to be Boulder Valley School District, which honestly, I will say, this is one big reason Broomfield kind of gets all of its hype because yep. people want to be in Boulder Valley School District and if they are not able to, say, afford or want to be actually in kind of the whole, you know, college scene of Boulder, they start looking at those outer cities. And the fact that it stretches all the way over to Broomfield is really great, which is why a lot of families are landing there. If you are looking at this school district, the reason people are excited about it is because it is rated an A according to niche.com. Now, this isn't the only big county in the city. In fact, it's also gonna include Adams 12. Adams 12 is rated a B plus. Definitely zoom in on this county though, because this is one of those counties that is very large. So if you were to go to the county over on niche.com, you go over to the left hand side, scroll all the way down to the map, you can blow up that county. Yep. And when you do that, you'll be able to see pockets of this county and different cities that are actually bringing that grade up or bringing it down. So this is very important to look, especially when it comes to Adams 12, because it's so large. And you will see that majority of our you know top rated schools are going to be in that Broomfield area. All right, Taylor, back to you. Okay guys, so I am actually coming to you today from the Anthem Community Park. And this is off of Highway 7 and the Sheridan area, super close proximity to E470 for those of you that need to travel into Boulder or if you need to travel down to Denver. Toll road is always the easiest way to get anywhere in Colorado. Um, one thing I love about Anthem is that you are so close to everything and they have really built this community up over the last 10 gosh, maybe 15 years. Um, you're right next to the Children's Hospital and they are actually building quite a bit over in this direction. So if you're looking at Anthem, you've got a few different areas. You actually have the 55 and up community, which again is nice. They're ranch floor plans, basements. You've got your pool, community center, um, a workout facility. And in this area as well, they've made it really close to um, a lot of different doctor's offices, physical therapy offices, dental offices. So really everything you have is within this community and not to mention how many hiking trails and biking trails that they have in the Anthem area. You've also got Anthem Highlands and Anthem, gosh, just regular Anthem. There are so many different community, um, Anthem Reserve, tons of different communities all within this one vicinity in Broomfield and that's one thing I love about Broomfield is how many different communities that you do have. Taylor is doing a fantastic job guys if you are planning on calling Colorado your home make sure you do give us a call or text at that phone number right below right below right there because we have assembled the best real estate team 
just like Taylor to help you out with all those real estate needs. And if you're not ready, don't worry, but at least do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like this style of video and also hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time that we cover a new city in the beautiful state of Colorado. So let's give you some specifics on the numbers when we are talking about that real estate within Broomfield, Colorado. We always like to go off that median sales price. And what we do is we base it off of the month. So these numbers are based off of April of 2024. And your overall number, we're talking about your single family Family with your attached products lumped into one number. You got a median sales price of $668,000 and that is actually down 1.11%. Let's break into single family now. What is that median sales price on your single family in April? You've got a median sales price of $718,000 and that is up 6.3%. What about your attached products? So we're talking about your condos, townhouses, and row homes. You got a median sales price of $565,000. Now this one's crazy. Yeah. This one is up 30.6%. Why is that? What is going on with that? I think the biggest driving factor for this is going to be Arista, but more so baseline. Yeah, baseline is putting in a ton of an attached products over there where you got mainly a row home style on the west side of baseline right there. This is probably a huge driving factor why those attached products are up 30% from last year. All right, that is a kind of a big overview, but let's go ahead and jump back in and see exactly what Broomfield has offered. Taylor, take it from here. Guys, I'm gonna take you on a little drive through Anthem. I want you to see what it has to offer. Um, again, you've got Anthem Highlands, Anthem Ranch, Anthem Reserve. I think there's quite a few little subdivisions within Anthem. So if you're looking for a neighborhood that's a little bit newer and has a ton of amenities, this is definitely the place to be. Talk about home prices. Um, I will let Pete and Chelsea fill you in on the latest market statistics in the Broomfield area. But what I do want to let you guys know is how close Broomfield is to Boulder. So if you are an, an outdoorsy person um, and you love the hiking, biking, and being near Boulder, Colorado, because Boulder, Colorado is so famous, right? Right next to CU. I, I think Broomfield is great for people who want Boulder homes, but they don't want the Boulder price tag. So Boulder homes are easily going to cost you over a million dollars if you're looking for a single family residence. But you can also find something in Broomfield that's a single family ranging depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something that might be a little bit older, maybe built in the 90s, um, you're going to be looking in the $600,000, $700,000 range. But new construction, you can still get something fairly new and pretty big for the eight and nine hundred thousand dollar range and that makes a big difference in your monthly payment when you're looking compared to boulder another wonderful you can see my messy car <laughs> another wonderful thing that i love about broomfield is that the variety of homes is almost unmatched from any other city especially up north because you've got again like i've talked about anthem and i'm showing you guys homes near anthem um which is a huge community, but you can also drive five minutes down the road and you can find a beautiful home that sits on acreage. You can find one that might be newer, that's a custom build. Um, it's definitely gonna up your price tag a little bit, but you can also find older homes that have been renovated, ranch style, two story, that have acreage. So if you've got horses, perfect. And then you're also right down the street from all your amenities, you know, we've got, Lots of gyms. Um, we're not too far from Lifetime Fitness, which is technically Westminster, but it's right down the street. Um, they've got Choose Fitness, Planet Fitness, Paula Derda Rec Center, which again is an amazing rec center. It's been there for a long time. Um, we've got different facilities like the Ice Center at the Promenade, if you have kids that wanna ice skate or play hockey.
If you're anything like me, your fastest way to decompress from a stressful day is to hit golf balls on the golf course. And in Broomfield, the ones I can think of off the top of my head that are super close by, you're gonna look into going to Eagle Trace Golf Course, the Broadlands, or you're really close to Colorado National. And aside from those, you're still minutes away from Thorn Creek and Riverdale. There's plenty of things to do in Broomfield. One thing I have noticed if you are looking at moving to Broomfield is that Broomfield does have a lot of restaurants and quite a bit of activities to do. So if you've got kids in sports, they've got sports teams of all different kinds. Um, Broomfield High School is known for their baseball program. So if you've got kids that play baseball and you live in Colorado or you've already looked at moving to Colorado, I'm sure it's something that you've already thought about. Um, however, nightlife here is not so great so if you are somebody that's looking more at nightlife and trying a lot of new restaurants watching football games and big bars um, i don't know that broomfield's going to be the place you want to live unless you're okay driving to different cities it just seems like it's more of a younger family area so again um Depending on what you're looking for, I'm not sure if that'll be for you. Towns that are near Broomfield that people often drive to or even ride their bikes to are going to be Erie, Louisville, Lafayette. Again, you probably won't ride your bike to Boulder unless you're a cyclist. God bless you if you are. Um, but again, they're really not that far and you're right off of I-25. You are right off of 36. You can hit E-470. If you're at Anthem, E-470, um, you can jump on right when you get off of Sheridan. So you can take Sheridan straight to E-470 and you're near Flatiron Shopping Mall, which I don't know if anybody does indoor shopping anymore, but it's probably the largest shopping mall that we have up north, unless you wanna drive all the way down to Park Meadows. So as you guys can see today, um, I hope the videos really helped you guys get a feel for what's out there in Broomfield, but the housing is just so different everywhere you go. Broomfield's a pretty big city, so depending on what your wants and needs are, I'm sure we can find you a home wherever you're looking to be. Um, so if you're looking for something a little bit older, you know, you could look into Northmore or go closer to 120th, or if you're looking for something newer, we run all the way down to 168th, which is Highway 7, and we've got new construction, ranch floor plans, two stories, townhomes, duplexes, and those really cool, um, <laughs> I don't even know what they're called, but they're like the four story rooftop patios that are technically single family, but they're a little bit closer and you don't necessarily have a yard that you have to maintain. So new construction, old, small lot, big lot. There's so many different options for you guys here in Broomfield. And I hope this video was helpful and we love helping you guys all on your house journey. So. Pete and Chelsea, thank you, and we'll see you guys later. All right, guys, we love Taylor and so many of you who she has helped out with all your real estate needs. Also do love Taylor. She is great at her job. She's great at what she does. If you are looking at purchasing real estate in the state of Colorado, make sure you give us a call or text at that phone number right below. Right below right there, we always answer. It doesn't matter day or time. And if you're not ready to purchase, no worries, but hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell because you are not going to want to miss some of the upcoming things going on in Colorado. All right, guys, until next time, we love you. Bye. Bye.